Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2019 blowout cards. Holiday pack party football. Five box, random team break number one from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Big thanks to all of these folks for getting into the action. Really appreciate it. There are the teams right there. All teams are in. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Five and a three. Eight times. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, and eight. After eight times, we got a couple bills. Down to Derek. Eight times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, eight. All right. Zone out for a second. After eight times, Bears down to the Cowboys. This is the end of the night. Losing a little bit of focus. All right, Bill with the Bills and the Bears. But Bill with the Bills. Will with the Steelers. Brian with the Saints. Chris with the Texans. Trevor with the Falcons. Rich with the Browns. Connor with the Cardinals. Mike Tower with the Chiefs. Kevin Gates with the Panthers. Kip Kip Hooray with the Broncos. Bill with the Jags. Tyler with the Lions. Uh, Stephen K with the Rams. Jose with the Packers. Todd with the Colts. Chris with the Seahawks. Johnny with the Vikings. Victor with the Dolphins. Joe Nation. Last spot Mojo. Chargers. Derek with my Raiders. Jason with the Patriots. Giants and Eagles for Kip. Jason with the Niners. TJ Leonard with the Redskins. Bill with the Ravens. Kip with the Titans and the Jets. Matt with the Bengals. David Bruins with the Bucks. And Derek with the Boys. Let's sort by team. Any trades? Where's everyone? This is just too late in the night for trades. I think this will be the last break of our night, folks. The basketball version we did took about 45 minutes or so, so this break should pretty much take us to the end of the night. Everything else that fin anything else that fills will go tomorrow. So there are the there's the five boxes right there. One, two, three over here. Four, five. We have. Yeah, so there's football editions right there. There was a basketball edition we did earlier today. It was just interesting. We'll see. I kind of like this format. It's like you just see just – it's almost like a grab bag of packs. Let's see what happens. Looks like no trades. Trade window going once. Trade window going twice. TWC, trade, trade window closed. Holiday pack party or party pack. Like a Taco Bell party pack. What does everybody want tonight? Tacos, tacos. Right, there's the hot off the presses is the official printout on the 9th. Back tomorrow, 2 o'clock Pacific. We break from 2 p.m. LA time to 10 p.m. LA time. That'd be 5 to 2. Five to one, East Coast time. All right, well, let's see what happens right here. Good luck. Now, someone was mentioning earlier today that they thought that the they had purchased a box of these, a box of football and a box of basketball. They, they seem to suggest that they thought that the football one seemed to be better than the other one. So, I don't know. For what it's worth, we'll see what happens. Thanks everybody for getting in. I think the basketball one is okay too. Collegiate stuff, we'll go by our college rules. Um, although I think there is a checklist for this. We'll probably go by the 2016 checklist for Prism Draft. So I changed my mind on that. If there wasn't a checklist, then we would go by our non-pro uniform rules, which is, which would be, uh, the team they played for the longest if they retired or the team they're currently on. But there's a checklist for this. It might be Rex. <laughs> All right. Good luck. But hey, at 25 bucks a spot and over 100 packs, 
Why not, right? Pretty, pretty friendly price point. I think Nick says everything ships in this. Yeah, all card ship, so you guys are getting everything. Merry Christmas. This is Kenny Clark. Parallel. Yeah, there's a mix of retail. Obviously, like this stuff and, and hobby. Where does this guy go? I mean, because they're going to draft a quarterback, right? And you know, Andy Dalton's like, I'm not. I don't want to stick around here. In Cincinnati. I bet. He, I bet he still feels like he's a starter. I don't think these are numbered right now. They're not. Jason Pierre-Paul. That's Jason Pierre-Paul. That's back in the day where he had fingers. Momentum. I'll try to show you the, the fronts of all these so we know what we're getting into next. There's a hit. Malcolm Floyd. Relic. Where does that guy end up? Wait, did Panini just predict where Brady's going to end up? Look at this. Brady and a Chargers card in the same pack. Dun, dun, dun. I mean, this was a momentum pack from back in 2012. Maybe they knew it all the way back then. Remember Top's Finest? I miss Top's Finest. Mariota die cut. Where does Mariota end up? Do they keep Mariota or does Mariota move on? I mean, they got Tannehill, but maybe they can use Mariota like a like a Taysom Hill. Something like that. And that goes to the Titans. Kip, Kip, hooray, select. Brian Hartline. Tops Chrome. Twenty seventeen. That's actually kind of cool. Patrick Mahomes rated rookie. I'll bet this goes for like ten bucks. Someone look this up. Just a regular Donruss football rated rookie card. No parallel. Ten bucks. Hmm, field access. There's your autograph. Jordan Reed. Man, if only this, this guy stays healthy. Jordan Reed would be pretty decent. Oh boy, Rex, how long have you been saving that one? Is this what is this what your your writers came up with today? All right. <clears throat> Here we go. Uh, Rex says Mariota needs to jump on the Yoda bandwagon and be like Mary Yoda. But M A R R Y There you go. My hands look gigantic with these. Nick said all of these cards ship because he doesn't want them. Well, we would end up donating veteran commons anyway. To the to kids. Yeah. 
I think he just forgot to put it in there and he was just like, F it, we'll just send it. <laughs> Ooh, there you go. Vinny says a couple of those Mahomes have gone recently 15 to 24. Wow. It's a Mahomes effect. So that's pretty good. Chiefs, Mike Tower with the Chiefs. There you go, Mike. I wonder, I'm sure you can probably grade those too. So if some of those grade out nicely, maybe a hundred bucks. They're all orange, but not numbered. Again, we're going to go by checklist for the draft picks. Ooh. Oh, ooh. Nice. Mariota autograph. Man, if we, if we had gotten this four years ago, a monster hit. That goes to Kip, Kip, Hooray, and the Titans. Now, Kip's hope is that this guy goes to a different team and just shines. Sean, are you saying that I would grade out nicely if I was sent to BGS? There's Josh Harper. Autograph for the Raiders. I'm a little rough around the edges. Maybe they'll give me an eight on edges, but my corners are pretty sharp. D.D. Westbrook, rookie phenom. Sergeant Squid said, what, Mario's going to go to New England and learn from Brady? I mean, that might not be... If there's anyone that could that could get the best out of out of Mariota, it's got to be Belichick in that squad, right? I heard a crazy thing last night. Is this what the offseason is going to be? Just where is Brady going to go? That's, our, that's the offseason talk. I heard that... Some some offshore sports book had um, had Tom Brady's odds going to the Browns because the idea is they think that the Browns are going to get Josh McDaniels and Josh McDaniels is going to lure Tom Brady to Cleveland. That's it's a stretch, but I think that's what that that book is is saying. There he is, right there. His ears were burning. He heard us. Yeah, I, I personally think I think the the simplest answer is probably the right answer, right? Occam's razor. So, yeah, the simplest answer is that Brady's probably staying in New England. But it's fun to speculate. What Giselle won't go to Cleveland? Sure. I mean, she does. She would. She doesn't have to go. She can just fly in on Sundays for games. Greg Robinson, 75. Yeah, I think I think I think Giselle is uh, is breadwinner on the taxes, so she can just fly in on her private jet whenever she wants to. It, she doesn't have to live in Cleveland. Marcus Davenport. There's Derek Nottie to 99 for the Chiefs. That's for Mike Tower. Oh, Jeremy's got an interesting take. You think you think Belichick is out. Brady stays in New England with McDaniels and Belichick steps down. 
All right, that was just box one. Here's box two. So it does take a minute or two. Adam saying that Giselle has earned it. Well, yeah, Sean saying her Gen X earned it. Yeah, well, still, a lot of people with good Gen X still screw it up. So there has to be some, some business sense there, too, or a good team around you, whatever the case may be. This is a Blowout Cards Holiday Pack Party Football Edition, where it's just a party of packs. There's all these random packs thrown into a box, and we just pop them open and see what happens. <laughs> Jake Butt, he's a tight end. There you go. Is that Rookie Dalvin Cook? No, no. It's a party. Remember in Attack of the Clones when Mace Windu says, this party's over. I remember. It was kind of cheesy. We got Kyle Aletta. Uh, at one point he thought he was going to be Daniel Jones, but, but nope. That still goes to the Giants, of course. Kip, Kip, hooray with the Giants. CJ Anderson, elite coverage. Two color dual relic. Rex says, if your last name is Butt, why would you ever go for being a tight end? You have to go for being a tight end, right? I mean, if we're talking like genetics and just what, what name you're born into, right? If you're born into the last name Butt, I think you, I think you, and, and you were athletically inclined. I think you gotta, I think you gotta be a tight end. Jay Ajayi to 499, who just got signed to a FIFA team or something like that. Giselle's worth $360 million? That's a lot of endorsements. Have you been in a Victoria's Secret? Everything's expensive. It's that advertising money, Adam. That ad money is is a lot crazier than you think. They'd be, the amount of money they throw in the advertising industry. And if you're like a brand ambassador or anything like that, and of all, all the other, you know, licensing stuff that she probably has, a lot of deals. Levante David Buccaneers, that goes to David Bruins. A lot of money in that world.
Oh, I'm sure she has a product line too, no doubt. No doubt. You know, I'm sure like Chanel or Louis Vuitton or that that whole LMVH group that's like Louis Vuitton and like I think Christian Dior and like Moe Chandon and all this stuff. I'm sure they, they have some sponsorship with her. Appearance fees alone. Like look look at look at people who have uh like former presidents and stuff. Like, look, look at what their appearance fees are just to talk. You know, I'm sure she's got all sorts of crazy appearance fees too. Just money in the bank right there. Yeah, you're in the. Well, Adam, if 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 you are as attractive as if you are the male attractive equivalency to uh, to Giselle, then yeah. You know, and you you can get that you can get that Giselle money too. Another Mahomes, rated rookie. Josh Allen press proof. You can, Sean. You can get paid for it. Just come out to West Hollywood. Hang out some. You can hang up. Probably find some place where you can get paid for that. Just putting on thongs. Drew Brees do. Drew Brees. He's not getting any younger. <laughs> That's right, Sean. Yeah. There's a market for everything, Sean. Field access. Dion Lewis. TMI says Sam Sam actually knew what that meant. Julio Jones, is that rookie Julio Jones? Julio! Not numbered, but looks like some sort of parallel, maybe? Falcons, that goes to Trevor. Remember that time when Julio Jones let a wide open touchdown pass? It was a long touchdown pass, but a wide open touchdown pass go right through his outstretched arms. Remember that? Um, Nick will tell you the story next time he's on air, but I think don't mention Julio Jones around Nick because that guy, that missed touchdown, I think, cost him thousands of dollars on DraftKings. <laughs> All right, third box. And we got Barcavius Mingo, Cleveland Browns. It goes to Rich and Cleveland. Cleveland! Oh, 
Press proof, Cam Newton. Cream Hunt rookie, silver. I suppose I guess that may have some value as a silver. Uh, I don't think that, I mean, I don't think we have any more, Adam. So I don't think there'll be personal breaks for these. And Austin Severian Jenkins, Jersey. Not, didn't he kind of revive his career a little bit? I don't think he's with the Buccaneers anymore, but he might be a serviceable tight end in the NFL. And that goes, that's Buccaneers edition going to David Bruins. Oh, yeah, I haven't even talked to him about that, Sean. <laughs> Head of the class, Texans, 'Cause this is a party of packs. I don't know if it's a, I, I, hindsight's twenty twenty, Sean. I don't know if it's an easy pick. If if Wentz hadn't gotten speared in the head by Jadavion Clowney, I think that game might have turned out differently. Josh McCowan didn't look too look too bad actually. Alex Caruso, sixth among guards in all-star voting. Let's go, Alex Caruso. Garoppolo rookie. Oh, that, that still carries some value. That goes to um, Jason Brown in the Pats. Oh, yeah, we're all about inclusion here. Lamar Jackson, Premier Jerseys. Oh, this is 2018 Lamar Jackson, Premier Jerseys. Goes to the Ravens, Bill. Logan saying if the Bills, if the Eagles could find any talent, they'd be good. I mean, I guess. They didn't have wide receiver one. Wide receiver two, wide receiver three, tight end one, RB one, and then lost QB one early in the game. I think right tackle one. So they had, they had, they had, they, had, they had uphill climb. Uphill climb for them. Yeah, that was that's twenty eight. That was twenty eighteen. Lamar Jackson, although it doesn't say RC on it, but twenty eighteen.
Hey, Sean is. What's gonna happen? What's happening with this guy? He's gonna get. Is he gonna get paid by the Chargers? Are they gonna let him walk? What's the deal? I don't know what that. What the status is there. Yeah, I think so, Adam. That might be the best hit so far. And Patrick Mahomes rated rookie cards are okay too. No, not, nothing, nothing earth shattering yet in this. <laughs> we still have a bunch of packs to go. Sony Michelle rookie phenom. Ah, I see. Sean saying, "I hope we Patriots." That'll be Jason Brown, by the way. You hope that Melvin Gordon, that Chargers offer him the same contract, and then Melvin Gordon just ends up staying. He should, I think. Why? Why? Why not? Plays in Southern California. He knows the offense. Doesn't have to go and learn a new offense and all that sort of stuff. You know that the Chargers are going to improve the offensive line. All right, two boxes to go. Uh-oh, Rex, what's going on? You guys are going to be in trouble this weekend. Supposed to get three to five inches of rain. Then Saturday night, flash freeze when temps drop 26. And then 40 mile per hour winds saying trees and power lines will come down. Why can't we just put power lines underground? Is that just too expensive? I'm assuming it's too expensive, right? To dig underground and put power lines there? And be careful, Rex. Don't venture out there. My assumption, Rex, though, yeah, it seems you could always wonder that why not put it underground. My, my guess is that it's probably it's just a money thing. They're just like it's cheaper to put it above ground, and and still not worth the cost of doing it underground for when something falls over once or twice. Oh, oh, there, there's, there you go. Sean's saying degradation of materials leaves them vulnerable to moisture. I suppose that's not good. All right, fair enough. There you go. That's why. Antonio Brown. Mariota rookie. Jeff Janis. Rookie auto for the Packers. That goes to Jose. Julius Thomas to 250. Rookie salute. AJ, I don't even remember this guy. AJ Jenkins. A lot of these guys I at least hear of someone, but. Yeah, don't put the wires under my house. AJ Jenkins traded to the Chiefs for John Baldwin. 
I don't remember John Baldwin either. Where does Bridgewater go? Bridgewater's got to go somewhere too, right? Yeah, both first round busts. AJ Jenkins, John Baldwin. Like, John Baldwin at least sounds somewhat familiar. AJ Jenkins is not. All right, Vinny. Thanks for hanging. Vinny, Vinny's checking out of this break. He's like, that's it. <laughs> that's all I got. We've got a Raider, Clive Walford. Nice pass catching tight end for a minute or two. To 50, that goes to Derek V and my Raiders. Johnny Cannon, what's up with all the sirens? I don't know. Friday night in Hermosa Beach, drunk college kids. Sounds about right. Nice, Bruce. What's going on? You should be in the area around 2. I will be in the area around 2 o'clock as well. Nice. Bruce will be visiting us tomorrow, folks. Oh, it's Thursday, says Kevin. All right. Thursday night, Hermosa Beach, college kids. A lot of college kids live in Hermosa Beach. It's a fun town, fun place. Feels like Friday. There's Kieris Garrett. We'll look up where he goes and send it out to you. What's Tom? What's what's Brady doing here? What's happening here? Is he kicking the ball? A 48-yard punt? I don't I do not remember that. Sorry, I know this break is it's long enough, but Oh, these aren't these aren't the plays. Punt, Brady. You're not going to punt. Is this not the play? All right, this, just so my hands are right here, no funny business. I'm not trying to steal your party packs. There it is. Wow. That is wild. I know, Sam, it's Thursday. Sam's also lagging a little bit. Huh. Brady Punt. That is wild. Oh, you, <laughs> Chile, you want to see where the ball? I'll I'll just leave the here. You can here's the link to the video. It ended up on the ten, just inside the ten. It's pretty. It's pretty pretty good punt. 
kind of stuck right there too. There's Adam Thielen. Do you count the bounce on the punt? Like if it lands here at the 20 and then trickles down to the 10? They, they, they count that where the ball stops, right? That's the distance of the punt? Just realize that I don't know how they calculate that. After all these years. Yeah, Brady ends his career with an above average yards per punt record. Goat. You can do it all. Right, goes to the Hall of Fame as a punter. Any thoughts on where Bridgewater goes? I mean, he's too expensive to be a uh, too expensive to be a backup, right? All right, last pack, box, not last pack. We've got about like 20 more packs to go, but last one. Bridgewater to New England, says Gilo. That's interesting, Gabe. For whatever reason, Mark, hi, Mark. For whatever reason, they, the, the Greens, they never, in that year of prism, didn't really number them. Same with the red ones in there. <laughs> JB says, if I ever try to get into a break like this again, decline my card. I mean, listen, it's 25 bucks a spot. 7 out of 99, Dante Moncrief, Camo. Ooh, the Bears. Bridgewater. Bears. Uh, Trent said, I have no idea if Jason got his mail or not. And there is EJ Manuel, Bill's edition. That goes to... Uh, Bill and the Bills. Yeah, greens generally are low. Still are, Mark, since the last time we spoke. Still are, but... Prison, for whatever reason, no. There's this lady here, Genevieve Morton. Oh, okay. I don't remember her. Get Hiller and Eddie back? Yeah, where is Hiller and Eddie? Hiller, I saw... I've seen Hiller within the last month. We've seen him a couple times. Eddie, we haven't seen in forever. I think, Bruce, I think Cam stays in... I think he stays in Carolina. I feel like they give him another, another shot there. 
Because healthy Cam Noon, that goes to the Steelers. That'll be for Will. Healthy healthy Cam Noon. You never know what he what he can still still accomplish. Alfred Morris to 60. Am I going to pay to get a brick with my name in front of the new Raider Stadium? Do they are they doing this? How much how much is a brick? Isn't that a Oh, I guess it's a privately funded. Yeah, so I guess they do need the money. I was like, isn't that <laughs> not publicly funded? I'll buy a brick. How much is a brick? I will spend up to I would spend up to two hundred dollars for a brick. One fifty, maybe. <laughs> Stephon Anthony, autograph, red, white, and blue. Saints. That's going to go to Brian Crouch. What about this guy? What do they do with this guy? Think the Bucks keep him? It's John Baldwin. We we're just talking about him. JB and I were just talking about him. We got Terrence West. Oh man, remember Terrence West? Oh, you guys remember Stonehands Denarius Moore? Old Stonehands, we used to call him. Old Stonehands. Remember uh, Jerry Rice back in the day used to train to improve his hands with cinder blocks, tossing cinder blocks back and forth. Denarius Moore's hands were cinder blocks. Did it? Jordan Matthews, jersey and autograph for the Eagles. That's going to go to Kip Kip Hooray. Baker Mayfield, premier jerseys. Nice. That goes to the Browns, Rich Schmidt and the Browns. There you go, 2018, Prism. Ed Ogeron just going nuts. He's fired up. Why did you, what, USC should have kept him? What a personality. Oh, Sam looked it up for me. And four by eight inch brick costs eight hundred and fifty dollars. F that. I could I could flex up to like four hundred dollars. Eight fifty for a brick? That's like I could buy tickets to a game. Two tickets to a game for that. Really nice seats. 50 yard line halfway up. No, I'm not not paying 850 for a brick. I'll take my own brick there. I'll buy my own brick. 
and just have it engraved and take it there and leave it in a in a rocky area that's out there among the amongst the succulents and cacti I'll put my own brick there I'll go to I'll go to I'll go to Home Depot buy a red brick No, I didn't see any of the prices that you put trend for some reason. I only saw Sam. Wait, which Adrian Peterson cards? It goes to whatever team whatever team that was pictured on there. Vikings. Oh, I see that. 8x8 logo brick and replica brick package. 1500 No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm going to just have my own brick engraved by, by brick engravers R Us down the street. You know, and then... Yeah, and then I'm just going to hide that brick somewhere. I'm going to hide that brick somewhere. All right, last pack, everybody. Thank, thanks for grinding this out with me. Maybe next time one box breaks. Good Iron Kings. And old Taiwan Taylor is our last one. Now you don't have to pitch in for me, trendsetter. I would rather have you pitch in on, on, on group breaks with that money. A brick break? Should we have a brick break, Johnny Cannon? Stay tuned for brick breaks. This is Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.